Hello guys, let's get straight to the point, Daya is a mess. Her skill set is a total mess, and I don't know how to utilize her optimally. First of all, Daya's elemental skill is just like Albedo's skill, but pyro, and weaker, at 123% at talent level 10, and with a much shorter duration of 12 seconds. Active character within this skill radius though, gain an increased resistance to interruption, and will share the damage taken to Daya. This could be great for Ganyu Melt support though, which I will talk about later. The problem with this skill is that, if you use Daya in a Vapor or Melt team comp, Daya will most likely be the trigger, since it triggers slowly every two and a half seconds. And triggering Melt or Vaporize at 123% is a joke. So you only have one option left, use her in a Burning or Burgeon team comp, which requires you to build a full EM Daya. Problem is, Daya doesn't scale of EM. Her elemental burst scales of attack, it's a quick 7 seconds burst including the cuts scene, that can deal 10 punches and finishes off with a plunging kick. It has a total of 2572% of motion value. It also knocks back the enemy 10 times, enough to get you and the enemy sent back to Jean's office. Another problem is that since it deals low damage 11 times, you can't really make use of melt or vaporize to optimize her burst damage either, and worst of all, it can't trigger Xingqiu's burst. Also since her punches are rapid, most likely it will be the Hydro or Cryo who will trigger the reaction anyway. So expect Daya's skill to trigger Melt or Vaporize with its low multiplier, and expect Daya's burst never trigger because of her rapid punches. And if you are using Bennett, expect her to get out of the circle as soon as she punches her second hit to the enemy. If you built her with full EM, she can do great burning or burgeon damage, but expect her burst damage tickles. What a mess, right? But knowing Mihoyo, we probably will get the solution in another new characters. Now, what about Ganyu Melt support? At first I thought she will be a great support for a shieldless Melt Ganyu, but her real problem are her short skill duration and its very low damage multiplier. At 203% initial hit and 123% pyro damage every two and a half seconds for 12 seconds, meaning her total pyro damage contribution to the Melt Ganyu team is only 695%. You can't really use her burst in Ganyu's Melt team because it would waste their rotation time. Meanwhile, Xiangling's Guaba deals 800% total damage and her burst deals 2695% damage without spending more than 2 seconds on field time. If you replace Xiongli instead of Xiangling, it will be even more DPS loss. Now let me show you the comparison between Nahido and Xiongli. As you can see, using Nahida instead of Xiongli can be a bit quicker, but at the cost of no shield. Now let's try to include Deya and Nahida and compare it with the original Xiongli and Xiongli. As you can see, the result is pretty promising. I think with the real Deya instead of Sinyan, they can be at least on par with the original Ganyu Melt team, without needing to have a shielder. This also means that you can use this team to fight against enemies with the anti-shield mechanic. This is the only team comp that I plan to use, if I happen to pull for Deya, which I don't think I will, for now. Now let's take a look at her artifact set DPS comparison, using her signature weapon at level 90 with talents level 10. As you can see, even with her signature weapon at refinement rank 1, 
she deals tiny amount of raw damage, even with five vaporized damage included in the calculation. Maybe she was not meant to be built this way. Let's try to add some virgin reactions and change her artifact stats to full EM, assuming she will be in a Dendro Hydro Burgeon team comp. Now with eight burgeons, she deals much better damage with the Gilded Dreams artifact set, but it's still very low for a five-star standard. I don't think she's worth pulling if you can just use Xiangling. She needs her skill to have 20 seconds duration or more, to be worth pulling in my opinion. 12 seconds is too short, and she needs to scale of Yen if they want her to be a virgin character. Like I said, Deya is currently a mess. It's like a character without a clear design. Next, I will show you her complete weapon DPS comparison, assuming that she will be in a virgin team comp, using the Gilded Dreams artifact set. As you can see, even this weapon DPS chart also looks like a mess. How come a free-to-play weapon and a couple of four-star weapons sits on top of the signature weapon? I'm expecting huge changes any moment now or otherwise this character will not do well. When that happen I'll be sure to make an updated Deya video so be sure to subscribe to my channel. Well I think that's it for today's Deya video guys. Let's all be patient and wait for exciting changes and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.